everyone. Today is Friday the 28th of October. I am going to my very first wedding dress try-on appointment at a bridal boutique called Chameleon Bride. I used to drive past this particular bridal boutique a lot when I lived and worked over that way. I always envisioned myself going to this shop. They've been running for years. I follow them on Instagram. I actually follow quite a few local bridal boutiques. So I've got a few in mind that I'd like to go to. I always knew I wanted to do the experience of going to an actual boutique and trying on dresses. I wasn't sure when the right timing would be because it's 16 months until we're actually getting married. We're going today and I'm taking my mum and Benji. We are having a very unconventional wedding. We're actually getting married on a cruise ship off the coast of Australia. We're doing a two month half world cruise where we fly to New Zealand and come all the way back to Southampton February 2024. So I really wanted to take Benji because he's going to be a big part of helping me get into my dress. We're not going to be having any like big reveals. We're not doing any of those traditions of like keeping it secret and all that. So I really wanted him to be part of the experience from the beginning. I want to say in what his suit looks like and I do think that for us it felt right for having him there. I booked one of their free hour and a half sessions midweek so the appointment doesn't cost anything today for me and they asked me to send over four different dresses and their website was super easy to navigate. They had all of the pictures from the designers, they had all the prices and they even said what size they had the dresses in. I just had an email through from the bridal boutique asking me to pick out a selection of dresses. So what sort of spurred me to book the appointments because I saw this beautiful dress on their Instagram and it was called the Juliet. So I know I want to try that one on. I didn't think I knew what I wanted because obviously I haven't tried on any dresses yet, but it's actually very clear to me that I do know what I want. I know what I like and I don't like. And so that narrows things down a lot easier, but I'm very aware that I could try something on and feel very different. I think I want something quite modern. I love lace or a bit of sparkle, V-neck or a sweetheart neckline. Just picked out a few options. I'll show you what my initial ideas are. This is the one that inspired me to book the appointments. This is called the Juliet. This is my first dress that I've like fallen in love with. And if we just open it up a bit, you can see it's beautiful. I love the back here. Yeah, I don't know, it's because she's on a boat as well. Maybe it's like I'm <laughs> drawn to it a bit, but I do really like that. Then this one is called the Jenica, which is actually very, very similar, but it's got a bit more sparkle in it. So I want to see what that looks like, but I don't know if the straps look a little bit too strappy for me, but I do really love it. This one is a bit more traditional, I think, in terms of shape. It's got like a bigger train, but I would like to try on something a bit more traditional as well, although it still has the like lace. This one comes in plus size up to size 26, which I am here for. So this is stunning, love 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 this i also think the straps look like they'd be quite comfortable because i have heard on your wedding day the weight of the dress if you've got really thin spaghetti straps they can be uncomfy and they can like dig in i don't want that so yeah that one looked absolutely lovely and then my mum looked at some of these it's the same sort of lace at the top this has got a ginormous train yeah i just think that's really princessy and then the last one is kind of similar a bit more like beachy boho sort of style i love that as well so they are my initial sort of picks and we will see on friday what i end up wearing and trying on i'm so excited i'm trying on dresses you're not trying on dresses what it's all about me today oh uh, as opposed to <laughs> today we're doing my dress okay. you've got an idea of things you like i don't like what's a strapless yeah neither do i yeah nothing too out we don't want princess houses no not too big and not too much of a train Okay, yeah, good, one the same wavelength. Let's go, I'm excited. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I like that. This is Juliet, isn't it? Oh no, my god. Is it not? Hold on. Uh, Harper. Harper. Oh. Isn't it pretty? It's great. I bet your bust looks big. big on a it's good, isn't it? It's perfect, right? Let's, let's go. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one. Turn around, I want to see the back. So the back of Just pinned it. So yeah, 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 yeah. It would be adjusted. Can I take, can I take a picture? Am I loud? Yeah, <laughs> when you don't really like yourself, yeah. it's really hard to um, look past that. And you didn't think it looked so pretty, I think. Yeah, I feel like I'm a princess. It. It's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? You feel good. Yeah. It's beautiful. Do not think it would 
I like and the boots. Pulling her in on that way. <laughs> it does. It pulls you in on the waist. Yeah. It's lovely. We're gonna probably put it back on. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Don't like the neckline. Absolutely. I'm glad. Immediately. Right that on. That neckline doesn't suit you. It's not a sexy, is it? No, it's no, more no. Like modern. Your bust, your bust was better like that rather than that. It makes me look very wider. Flat and wide. Yeah. No. Okay. We're going to constantly be comparing to the we first are now. now. Yeah. I I don't like the sparkle under that Just that particular sparkle netting underneath. So no. it can come without the netting underneath. I still not sure. I think I don't like the back either. either. The back the back on the other ones. In terms of like it's, it feels it's a, a lot more plungy. Yeah, it's more plungy. It's not Harper. We're <laughs> be constantly comparing. Okay. It, your boobs look narrower than they are. Uh, do they do look different? Yeah. 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 No, I don't think that does. Your They're bust, more squished. Yeah. Your so bust with that one, it's not lined, so you haven't got as much structure here as you that do with this one. That one absolutely fitted yeah. her perfectly. If you feel she the bodice on that one, it feels very. Oh, it does. Oh gosh, it's got like a corset. It in has, it. yeah. And it's got a plunge, but it looks very different to the last plunge. Okay. I like the bottom. I don't different. like the top. It's white for starters, so I the difference is oh, we've got the ivory. Head off. Um, oh, I don't like the side. They're, gonna, they're not going to like this one. <laughs> is it because of the bust? Um, it's the bust, it's white. So the other one's got a slight V. This one doesn't. No. But it's the same. It is the bust, is shape. It? I don't know what it is about She needs that. that. That she does need that. Isn't it weird? Soft, it's just it's like soft soft not too long. But listen, the white. So we're looking at it. Oh, we're looking at white, really yeah. The colour. You can fully get the effect. How's it for having on? Yeah. Much better. It just it's looks so natural, doesn't it? It's the colour as well. It's the colour and it's the shape. That yeah, neckline is. I don't know what. It's such a small touch different. But it does make a difference. Mm. It flows so pretty. Have a little walk around in it. The shoes look so nice with it. Yeah, yeah very nice. Obviously, though, you will only see the front. Like that. Yeah. So exactly they are. They're like little so, apes on And you earth. can have them as long or as short as you want as well. Oh, I don't know now. That's throwing me off. Do you like the sleeves? I like the sleeves. I think you'll like the sleeves as well. Look at it in the sunlight, because I'm going to be outside. It's just got enough sparkle but not too much you haven't even looked well they all look the same to me this is this it's essence of australia that was another big That's brand isn't it, it? Is God, there's so many they all look the same though i know yeah, they but don't the but so yeah yeah but like yeah i have these, these ones you want all the movement I do, yeah. Well, I know it's going to be hot, that's the thing. If I was in the UK, I think it would be so very different, really wouldn't it? Oh, gangy, puffy. Yeah. I mean, that is, it's beautiful. It's not that like I can't appreciate how beautiful it is. It's just not me. We've just come back from the appointment. I feel so many emotions. Don't love my body right now, so I thought I would really struggle. But the minute I put the Harper dress on, I cried. And it's amazing how the right dress can sort of flatter you and your body and your shape and what you like and the same dress won't look the same on someone else and someone else's body shape and size but also something I didn't consider was my skin color and hair color uh, and tone I'm quite pale freckly I'm actually slightly like red I didn't appreciate how different a white like pure white dress would look I think it suits your skin tone better mm. it's less harsh every time she put me in a pure white the first thing i said was i felt like an imposter and like i was in wearing someone else's dress and i think that speaks volumes for the kind of thing that i definitely do and don't want and then when we added the sleeves it just felt like an extra layer of like confidence for me yeah. it was a weird experience because i it was the first dress it was the first dress it was the first one and i do feel like my bridal shopping experience i'm feeling conflicted <laughs> i feel like it's either cut short right because yeah. i'm not going to do any more dresses or is it amazing that i've or managed to get it free. yeah completely stress free that's it i'm so done like there's probably some people out there that don't like anything that they've tried on and mm. just have to settle in the end mm. so you're really lucky in that aspect that you found something you love straight away the quality was gorgeous like, always feels a bit too good to be true that yeah it the first dress that you tried yeah on. it exactly that but you tried it on first, tried like three or four on, then tried it on again, and it was like, no, yeah, this is still it. right. Yeah, we all felt it. So 
what we've decided is that we're gonna sleep on it for a couple of days just because it felt just like too big of a purchase but i think it's the one i think it'll all come together when we did put a veil on me did you feel much with the veil on and off i don't know we did no, try it we were just kind of just like trying it just to see weren't we, we it did. wasn't ever really serious i don't think we loved a veil i think we preferred the sleeves because you it becomes too busy otherwise so it's either sleeves or veil and i think yeah. we both all well we all prefer the sleeves and then it's either like a hairband or like a headpiece kind of thing, yeah. yeah or it's like hair accessories that go around the back it um, was good that you had your shoes though that was good yeah having my shoes was so great because mm. i could wear them with the dress and i felt different it was interesting i had a really good time i loved having you and my mum there i wasn't that i don't have any regrets for that i wanted yeah. you both to see and be there for that experience we do everything together don't we we do everything together yeah it made sense to have you there i think it would have felt weird if i wasn't there for you and i'm glad you enjoyed it didn't you yeah it was good i, li I liked it and you like my dress i wasn't expecting for you to have something that was so perfect i thought there'd be something like oh yeah i like that that'll, that'll be nice we'll make it work i wasn't expecting something to be like okay yeah that is it like, mm -hmm. let's just stop now had a really lovely experience there at, at chameleon and sophie was so lovely i really really liked her I felt like she really understood me really quickly and she was just such a good vibe she had really good energy and she was just lovely so that really helped with that experience because obviously it's nice i do value her opinion as well as the expert three days later monday the 31st of october so i've had a few days to process it think about it and i've gone sort of both ways one half of me was like right i've got the dress it's perfect i have showed it to a few people and the reaction has been amazing so i'm like okay it's definitely it but then the other half of me was like that experience is now over what if i find another dress elsewhere and so i did a lot of like you know youtube reddit reading people's stories like and looking at the dress obsessing over the dress but i read a lot about how there will never just be one dress because people of all different shapes and sizes and skin colours and tones and everything will look good in multiple dresses. There'll be lots of dresses that probably look good on me. But when I put that one on, it made me feel good. And I also went back to my Pinterest board and I had a little look at the ones that I originally had my eye on. And they are so similar. <laughs> they are so, so similar. So I clearly have a style and favourite in mind. And yeah, I just don't think there's much point in me going to multiple bridal boutiques honestly as well the price like some of them go up to crazy money like four or five thousand pounds and the price of my dress is pretty good so i was happy with that but then my mum so very kindly offered to buy it for me she said she wanted to give it as a wedding gift and she could be there with me on the day the dress is a gift from her so thank you mum so much it's such a magic special gift and i'm so grateful and also another thing that i was sort of playing with this idea on is i don't know if i loved it the most because it fit me the best as well that was another thing that i watched back the clips a lot of those dresses were too small obviously because they're all sort of a standard ish size the most of the sample dresses are like a size 12 or 14 and in a bridal gown you go up by at least one or two sizes so i'm a size 16 to 18 so i'll have to be buying a size 20 to 22 but they don't have lots of those as samples so that's fine obviously because she just ties it pins it whatever when the dress doesn't fit you right it's really hard to sort of push past that and just imagine it fitting right but the other thing i still am amazed by is the difference between pure like white the ivory versus the harper dress is the mocha with the ivory on top so that the lace pops because i did look at the same dress in what it looked like in just white and you just can't see the lace detailing as much we're gonna go and get it and uh well we're gonna order it we put 50 well my mum puts 50 percent deposit down today we take the pictures they do all my measurements again probably we start the process of all the appointments leading up to it so it's 16 months to go i imagine i probably won't see it again now until it comes in so it can take probably three to six months to actually even arrive so it's going to be a process but yeah I, I can't believe that the the journey is over so quick so i'd love to hear if you have had the same experience let's go get the dress i think it's the one <laughs> Yay. Yay. your hair is different as well my hair is different today I mean, is it still the one yeah i think it so it is right <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually really hate it today. I don't know what, it's not <laughs> as sunny today, which is quite interesting, isn't it? I really like your shoes. It makes I your shoes really pop. Do you like the shoes? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're only going to see the shoes when I 
lift it up. Lift it up, yeah. I feel more confident walking in it now. <laughs> it belongs to me now. <laughs> yeah, you're like, no, it's mine. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Uh, you are, you do look so confident in it. it Go up the like other end and walk with. When you're with, so conscientious of dresses and things and finding the right dress, anyway, you know, like when you go to balls and walk stuff. Walk back as yeah. if you're holding a bouquet. Do I look like a bride? Why do you look like a bride? <laughs> You are a bride! <laughs> it looks funny in the bouquet, doesn't it? It all comes together. So, that that's one? It, yeah. So, we're gonna have that's sleeves. Fine. And, and then, then, then drop it down. Yeah, but that's a different to the. Oh, okay, the off -seas. Cold shoulder. Cold shoulders, the other option, but I think we all like the full sleeve. And then the other thing we've just talked about is, is getting maybe a bit of lace. So you see the back? You don't you see the back? It. Yeah. Right now it's you pulling because it doesn't fit me. Hold that. Yeah. But I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but we can add some lace so they can cover the harsh line with some applique if yeah. it, if I don't like it when it comes in my size. Are we saying yes to the dress? Yes. <laughs> It is five months later. It's currently the 4th of April, 2023. And today I'm going to go and pick up the dress. I'm ready to go and try it on again now. It's been a long enough time that I am ready to go and see what it looks like again. We also have ordered some extra lace that is gonna go up the back. I can't remember if I explained that, but we're going to see what that looks like today. This is an accessories appointment, which you can book to basically try on some accessories. So I already have my shoes and I've also recently bought a hairpiece but we can look at jewellery and bags and veils and everything else with it and my mum and my brother are coming with me. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it is pretty, I'm really pleased. It's perfect for you. It is, it is right, isn't it? Yeah. What's a button-up veil then? Oh, so the button-up train. train when you have your alterations. Yeah. Oh, you clip it. it oh. So we'll hide a button under a bit of lace on the back of your dress and we'll put a little loop which will hide within the lace and then you can just button it up. <laughs> it's funny, you put a veil on it, you do suddenly feel like a, a, bride. a proper bride, yeah. <laughs> That's just a short one. I do feel like I'm going to a hen do. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because I had the, I had a veil for my Hindu, but I didn't have it for my wedding. Are you doing it? I don't like it. No, you didn't like it She's... before. No, do you know what? I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal. It's just not you. It's just not me. I think it would look Little pretty. We'll finish it off because it kind of is a quite harsh line, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Just ever so And everything else will be softened with the with the sleeves. The cap so yes i think that does need a little bit it looks fine like it is but as we have the lace i think it would be a good yeah, idea i do okay. i don't like it do you not no okay i think it's because i wear hairbands all the time it doesn't feel very different okay okay so we know we want the lace possibly on these bits here and on the back bit and then across the back. Today is the 31st of October. It is a year since we got the dress and today I'm going back to the bridal store to have some alterations done. So I'm getting the sleeves added and I'm having some lace put up the back. It's kind of like a harsh V at the moment so I want them to make that a bit softer. We ordered a whole sheet of lace from the designer Maddie Lane so the seamstress can work with that and and make it match and look beautiful. But I'm excited anyway, so I'm really late. I've been running around. I really need to go, but let's do the next bridal appointment. Today is the 23rd of January and I've just picked up the dress. So I have it at home here with me. And obviously you've seen this dress so many times, but what you haven't seen are some of the extra appointments I've done over the last year. I went back again, beginning of January where she fitted the sleeves. Then I had another appointment last week, which was meant to be the final one. But when I got to it, there were a couple of small details that I wanted changed, like some more applique added at the top of the sleeves and at the back where the straps were, they were sort of nude and and they were meant to sort of blend but when we added the sleeves I could see like this definitive line between the original strap and the sleeve so she's done a beautiful job of blending it up to the top now and today was the day I picked it up she did also take out the dress a little bit for me so it was a bit more comfortable and honestly over the last sort of year or so I've spent a lot of time trying to find the perfect balance of not feeling pressured to lose weight and be a certain size for the wedding day. I've just tried to maintain a healthy, happy relationship with my body, moving more, going to the gym, eating well, so that I never look back at this time of my life and have regrets for being on a strict diet of any kind or feeling pressure to 
be smaller and I think there is a lot of pressure already on brides to look the best version of themselves on the day because we focus so heavily on the videos and the photos but I know in my heart that I'm going into this wedding day at the best time of my life like I feel amazing and the dress feels amazing on me and having it on today I didn't want to take it off it's so beautiful so floaty it's gonna be perfect for the setting it feels very me it feels right and I had Benj with me today where he was able to learn how to do the pinning of the back so they also added a couple of buttons so that I can basically have the train pinned up to my back so I can walk around the ship they also did the hem as well so that was the right length also so added some of this applique flower stuff along the back line as well, similar to the straps, but they added it along the back. So the seamstress was incredible what she was able to do. I also bought this hanger from a company called The Wire Boutique and it says Mrs. Lever on it. So I'm trying to keep that nice, but I am going to hang the dress on this hanger. The next big challenge is actually transporting it to New Zealand so it's going to go on two long haul flights with me. Emirates said that I could put it in a little wardrobe on the plane so should be fine. I'm actually going to export this video and upload it while I'm in the UK but if you want to see what it looked like on the day then definitely go and watch our wedding video little montage that I've made and you can see pictures and videos of what it looked like and check out my Instagram so I'm sure I'll have content over there. Thank you for joining me on this very special experience. I feel very lucky to have found the dress so easily and to be marrying the love of my life so thank you for watching I'm never ever gonna make a video like this ever again so this really is a special one and I will see you again very soon bye things up a little bit and it actually looks a lot better on me so I'm quite sorry and you're right I am having that tiara oh this one yeah <laughs> oh this just got so weird now this is time to go it's time to go what do you think? gorgeous gorgeous